here, YouTube. I'm back again today for another unboxing video. And today I'm very excited to check it out Meeple Land from Blue Orange Games. This is for two to four players, ages 10 plus, take about one hour to play. And it looks like a build in an amusement park, which gets me super excited. Like right now, I know that I really, really like Blue Orange Games, and I know that I love building amusement parks. So my excitement right now is at a 9.5. Like it's only going to get more excited potentially from here, hopefully. Now, the other thing I want to mention about this box is this is a bigger box than your standard box like it looks at first glance like your typical dominion box you're like one of those boxes even for like dead of winter dominion games like that no this is actually bigger than that box it's like wider i believe and thicker so i'm really excited to see what we're going to be getting inside of here love the artwork i love the meeples getting out going to the amusement park that looks cool what do we got rules take a look see how many oh eight pages not bad Double-sided, full color. Oh, pictures, illustrations, examples. There's the setup. And this last page is that. So really, you're looking at maybe about five pages of rules. Lots of... This looks really good. Part... Oh, yes, I get excited. I'm getting excited. All right. Lots of cardboard. Love lots of cardboard. We'll come back to you, box. I'm excited to see what's... You know what? I'm more excited about the box. Let's check out the box first. All right. Player boards. Not as thick as you might like them to be, but thick enough. I mean, they're going to go down. This is where your amusement park's going to be. And what else is in here? More. I'm going to guess these are added parts that you can add to your park. Makes sense. Huge box insert with lots. Yeah, so this is a big box. I like this. I like this box insert. A place for everything. It looks really good. Mini meeples. I'm a big fan of the mini meeples. Uh, I think it's really going to make the aesthetic appeal of this game really pop because you're creating an amusement park for meeples and it looks super cool because all the little meeples are actually going to be there enjoying the park. That gets me even more excited. 9.6, I tell you. How high will we climb? All right. Are these minis? Are these little... Okay, these are looks like little statues. Maybe... I have no idea what these are for, but they're nice. Uh, I was not expecting that. Cool. Little minis. Very nice. What do we got over here? These look like the buses, which maybe these will be the, the people that are coming into the different parks. Okay, looks like a deck of, cool, whatevs. Gets me excited, but I love this box. And look, look at that, like even quality touches on the box. And so, oh, so nice. But let's get to what is probably gonna be the star of the show, which are the amusement park attractions. All right, we got the, oh, oh, there you go. You ready? Look, look at this little pinky. Oh, little pinky. We'll pick it. Let's see if I can do it with a pretzel. I bet I can do it with a pretzel. Just a little pretzel. Pretzel. Oh, that. Now that is how I like my cardboard cutouts. It just popped out so easy. Okay. I, I can't even. I can't even look at them. Oh, they're just. They're just falling out so easy. I can't even look at it, man. These are nice cardboard cutouts. Uh, oh, that's really cool too. Okay. Uncreate. Oh, so it's the back. So it does have a different back side. Okay. Got some iconography here. Looks like relatively simple iconography. It didn't show the scoring pad, but nice little scoring pad. And it's double-sided. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Always make your score pad double-sided. It just makes sense, okay? I see people with non-double-sided score pads, and it just drives me nuts. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at some more of these. Okay, so we do have the duplicates. Yeah, it looks like duplicates for everything, which bumps down the excitement just a smidge. We're still at a 9.5. Very excited, but distinctive artwork obviously would have been very, very nice. But maybe that's, maybe, maybe they didn't want that because who knows? Let's see, what do we got? Okay, that's a different one. So there's, there's a good variety here, it seems like still, but whew, more pop-outs. What do we got? That's a parking lot. I'm going to guess maybe this is player order or something. Meeple Land, where does this go? What is this? I like it. Oh, that's gonna what? No, is this is this yes? A bit maybe it's not, maybe it's not like that. Maybe it's like this. Oh my gosh! The thematicness is coming so strong. Oh, stop it with the theme. The theme hurts. Oh, it's so much theme. I love it. Got the dude, weird dude from the front cover, more stuff. Very cool. I'm excited about this. I am insanely excited about this. You know, is this going to be one that's probably going to be going over huge on my game night? I don't know. We're going to bring it to put it to the test, though, because I'm really excited to get this stinking one to the table. That is Meeple Land from Blue Orange Games. Here's the back of the box. Looks super cool. I'm excited. 9.5 in the excitement rating. 
I can't wait to create my own amusement park, baby, and then have oh, the sign. Look at the sign. How does this not excite you? Components, baby, components. But there you go. That is Meeple Land for Blue Orange Games. Looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon down below, as currently I am out of a job and panhandling on YouTube, just oozing and kissing all over really awesome game pieces. But thank you for your time, YouTube.